How to measure an elbow for a pneumatic conveying system. If the elbows in your pneumatic conveying system need to be replaced due to wear or abrasion, or if you're designing a new layout for your system, correctly measuring your existing elbows to ensure you order the right size is key. This video will show you how to do just that. By the end, you'll be able to identify the line size, whether it's pipe or tubing, by the diameter and thickness, the degree of your elbow, the center line radius, and the tangential points. Before you start, you'll need a carpenter square, tape measure, caliper, protractor, and a marking pen. You'll also need to prep your work area by laying out the angles you're expecting to use directly onto the surface area you'll be measuring on. Draw two perpendicular lines to meet at a 90 degree. Then a third line down the middle at the degree you need or will be measuring for. Now you're ready to start measuring your elbow. First, you need to determine the angle of the elbow. 90, 45, and 30 degree angles are the most common, but sometimes you'll find a 60 or 22 and a half degree angle. To do this, square one end of your elbow up to the perpendicular lines and place your carpenter square at the other end or top of the elbow. From here, starting at the top, pull a line down the edge of the carpenter square, or just use the edge of the ruler. Now, you will want to align the baseline of the protractor to the x-axis. Using the rule blade, get the angle measurement from the outer scale. You will then need to subtract this measurement from the 90 degrees to get the angle of the elbow. Then you need to find the diameter. Using your tape measure, measure the outer diameter of the elbow followed by the inner diameter. Measuring both diameters will help confirm if you have pipe or tube. Tubing measurements are typically taken by the outside diameter, while piping measurements are taken by the inside diameter. Next, find the gauge or schedule, also called wall thickness, of the pipe using a caliper. If you're still unsure whether you've got a pipe or tube, as sometimes happens, we recommend using an ID or OD chart for confirmation. There's a link to a chart in the video description below. When you have your angle, diameter, and gauge, you'll then need to determine the length of the tangent, or the straight part of the elbow that comes off the curve. These tangents are used during install, so you have a straight connection point for clamping couplings or welding a flange. To measure the length of the tangent, place your elbow on the straight lines of your surface so you can see where the elbow curve starts and the point to which you should measure the tangent. Mark the tangents on your elbow. These marks are your tangential points. You'll use your tangential points to get your centerline measurement for a true reading of how far your centerline radius extends. Now you have your elbow angle, diameter, gauge, and tangent. Next, you need the centerline radius, or CLR. Measure from the center of the elbow at the center point of the bend to where the two lines intersect. In fact, taking this measurement from anywhere on the elbow will give you the centerline radius. The distance from the intersecting points to the elbow center is your centerline radius. It will also tell you what your tangent link is. Finally, you need to determine what your elbow is made of. Ways to do this include a magnet test, finding its weight, or looking at its tint and oxidation versus rust. Most simply, you can look for markings on your elbow, which will often tell you what it's made from. Now you're ready to identify the line size, the diameter and thickness, the degree of your elbow, the centerline radius, and the tangential points. Keep in mind, this works only if the elbow can be removed from your system. If it is still installed, it is trickier to measure, but still possible, just not as accurate. If you can reach the elbow, you can get a measurement at the back side, and that, coupled with the degree, will help us make an educated guess of the centerline radius. And of course, if you have information from your previous order, it may tell you everything you need to know. If you need any help with measuring your elbows or need to reorder, give our experts a call. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get notified when more videos on pneumatic conveying system solutions are posted.